So what were we talking the, about? So the, 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 the mind. mind knows nothing of the heart. It doesn't... See, I can't do it. <laughs> the mind is trying to do it. The mind is trying to do it. Yeah, and I it can't. Was, but uh, the heart... The mind can never understand, like love is from the heart, thought is from the mind. Thought cannot experience love. It can think about love, but it doesn't know anything about love. It doesn't, that happens in the heart. So then when you fall in love with someone, you're connecting in your true being, the true, true being to true being where you're one. You're in the heart and that's the feeling of love. It's the most wonderful thing, but then, after a while, then the mind comes in and you're stuck with the person and all your beliefs and everything you've been taught and all your conditioning and you see the world through those beliefs and conditioning and but you think that's the way the world is. But it's not. <laughs> it's not. So then the other person has different beliefs and conditioning. You're you're trying to live together, but you're seeing the world from a different set of beliefs. And you're no longer connected in the heart. So when the mind starts doing battle with the mind, there's no heart there. There's no heart. <laughs> and there's no winning and there's no, it, it's, you're in the mind. So we just have to recognize when we're in the mind and we have to sink back down into the heart and let go of the ego that wants to be right and wants to control the other one so that we can live together. And that's, you know, it's coming from the desire to be able to live together and not fight, not have, you know, problems, but you can't do it from the mind, you won't do it. So you have to drop the ego, sink back down into the heart, go back, and then that feeling comes. And as soon as you connect with the feeling in the heart, it will find a way to connect with the other person and it won't have anything to do with whatever you're fighting about. It's natural from the heart. Yeah. And the reason you're fighting and the reason these things come up you think it's something wrong, but it's not wrong. It's coming because you're supposed to learn a lesson. So you can pretend that you understand the other person. This is what Peter and I did, because I would be trying to explain to him how I was seeing things. And he would go, oh, yeah, yeah, because he just wanted me to shut up. <laughs> so he would pretend that he got it. And then whatever the circumstance was in life, it would come back again. A couple of months, months later, we're having the same discussion. I'm trying to tell him the same thing. He's telling me he gets it and, the, and vice versa, because happened both ways obviously yeah. but from my perspective this one so <laughs> it's like why does this keep happening i would just get so frustrated and so mad and so hurt and angry and everything and then i just realized it's coming because we haven't learned the lesson we're mm -hmm. pretending that we understand each other but we haven't learned the lesson so then to go back to the heart and to the love and then speak from there and then we would both see what it, why that was happening, and then it never it wouldn't happen ever again. Yeah, <laughs> it's coming yeah. for you to learn, and that's why it's good to have a partner because you'll learn things with a partner, and then when you have children, it's. Easy.